to do this or not, whether to let the whole thing go. Um, the situation from last week in Jonesboro, uh, Doug Gilbert was asked not to be there. He said he was going to show up even if he had to buy a ticket. He did, in fact, show up. It was a, a uh, wild evening over there, and we've got some video of it, too. And let me explain the video before we play it. One of the fans, a friend of mine, actually, uh, someone that's been going for the matches for uh, for years, tapes the matches almost every time. And uh, I'm, the situation, I'll talk to him. I have reservations right now of canceling this tape right now. I really do. Well, First I understand. All, we promised folks we're going to show it to them, and, but if you decide to do that, I think we'll understand. The quality of the tape is, you know, it's home video. But we want to go ahead and, I guess, Dave, and show the video right now. All right, let's do it. Let's show it. This is Jonesboro. The match, which was unscheduled, it was Doug Gilbert and Dirty White Boy, J.R. Smooth and Glenn Cucka. Here's the Dirty White Girl. Yeah. And this J.R. Smooth goes to try to really do some damage with the bow driver. I came in as the promoter and gets attacked by J.R. Smooth right here trying to help the dirty white girl out. And you see the situation now, and this is the thing with Doug Gilbert, you never know what he's going to uh, do. Here he comes. I got real lucky there with the fire just grazing me. And then the situation, I mean, uh, where it ends up in the lobby and in someone's pickup truck. It, as a matter of fact, the manager of the building was very upset. Doug Gilbert almost cost me my rental agreement there. And then a situation where they get out in the tennis courts in Jonesboro, and it's just one of the wildest things that you've ever seen uh, ever. It's just totally out of control. That's what we talk about Doug Gilbert being a loose cannon. He can almost cost you a building, even sometimes when he's trying to do good things. He's instigating the situation, a big brawl out in the tennis court, the people out there, and it was just totally out of control. And watch this situation. I'm not trying to make a good guy out of J.R. Smooth. This guy is nothing but a slug and a thrust to the throat right there. And it was just uh, where she is injured, and I didn't want that to happen at all, and we will deal with J.R. Smooth with fines. That kind of situation we will not condone on Power Pro Wrestling, but I know this is not popular with the fans, Dave, but because of the situation, I'm responsible. Doug Gilbert, as long as I'm in control of Power Pro Wrestling, will not be a part of it. I mean, it's a decision. Beth, I know it's not popular, and I'm not trying to be the bad guy here, but as long as I'm under and, control, in control. And Corey and I back you up on that. Now, wait a minute. Here we go again. Last week it was Doug Gilbert. Let's have security on standby here. That's Wolfie D, and also not a part of Power Pro. What? A, don't come out here high fiving. What's up, Dave? How you been? Are you sure? Hey, first of all, what up, Memphis? Oh, oh I guess nobody thought they was going to see Wolfie D on Power Pro Wrestling. I sure didn't. No. <laughs> Randy Hales, here's what I want to know. There's, the, I was sitting in Shreveport, Louisiana last night. I flew in. Let's this... go do this back in the back. No, let's don't. Let's stay out here. I want to put you on the spot. I got a big reason for doing this. I want to do it right here in front of all these people. I like that. I like it when they do that. Time's winding down here. Okay, that's okay. Look, Randy, here, here's the deal. You know, I was sitting there, and I got a reason for doing this. I'm going to get to it in just a second. Randy, me and you go back a long way, right? You know, and everybody, you don't come out here and tell everybody what kind of problems you got and all this kind of stuff, right? That's and I've heard through the grapevine that you blame it all on me, right? Have you blamed it all on me or not? Yeah. Right? We're not you have. Get no, but situation. some of it. Well, okay. You blame most of it on me, exactly, right? Randy, I just want to hear you say it. You blamed it on me. Well, you were... And you are a grown man. In the worst time no, of my life, you were uh, riding up no, and down no, the road. Nobody made there. you do anything, did they? You're a grown man and you did it on your You're own. Exactly my point right. is, though, we're friends. I thought that I was going to have a job here. You know that? Because I was one of your guys. I heard it from everybody. Wolfie's Randy's boy. I heard it from these people. I heard it from the guys. I heard it from everybody. And when Power Pro started up, I figured I'd have a job, Randy. But why? Why did I not have a job? Can you explain Come that on, to me? This is not the place for it. <laughs> I mean... I'll tell you why I didn't have a job, because you blamed everything on me. You went out, you got holy, you done got religious and all that, which is cool, but you ain't got to change, be all different and everything. And as far as this situation with Doug, 
We were all First cool. First of all, let's get back to no, that. No, no, the personal life, I'm in a better shape personally well, now glad. than I was back then. Well, I'm glad to hear it. And I'm glad I hope to hear you it. Are. I'm glad to hear it. Doug Gilbert was my friend, and he's your friend too. And I don't understand, Randy. You know, I heard, I heard about this deal going on. You wanted to send the man to jail. Yeah. Huh? I'm responsible for. No, the wait, no, no, no. See, the deal is, Doug yes, Gilbert. No. Doug Let's Gilbert made you a lot this. of money. Doug Gilbert made you a lot of money. <laughs> Wolfie D made you money. Tommy Rich, and I hate to say it, but Jamie Dundee made you some money. And don't you don't like none of us anymore. Well, man, you don't want to send Doug. Would you want Doug to send you to jail? I hadn't done anything to go to no, jail. No, no, no. Well, look, I talked and to Doug Gilbert. he did last week on this TV show. Look, he's our friend. That's the bottom line. And here's what I want to tell you. I told Doug to meet me here today. He's out in the parking lot. I want to be the peacemaker. I want you to let him in the building. I want you to talk to him. Y'all want to see Doug there's, Gilbert? There's Doug right there, but security's keeping him out. That decision's been made, Wolfie. It's not open for discussion. No, Randy, why don't you let him in the building? What's he saying? Let's switch back to... Hey, no, we're not going... I want to sit down. Look out. Back, hey, look out. Back in the studio here. The BSK has jumped Wolfie D down. We got to get some help for Wolfie. J.R. Smooth and all his BSK thugs. After Wolfie D, they go out of the studio. Randy's behind them. Uh, I, uh, they're, they're out in the hallway there. They're still beating up Wolfie back there. Randy trying to stop it. And then J.R. Smooth kills Randy again. What did he say? Did he say let him in? There comes Doug. Randy said let it in. Oh, but Randy got hit by the fire there. Let's get ready to go to break. I'm going to go back and check on Randy. He got it right on square in the face. Randy, here. Randy, hey, hey, come it's on, all your fault. Get out of here. It's all your fault. Come on. Everything is your fault. Get this is your fault. Get him, get him out of the building. Fred, come on. Get him out of here. here. Listen, no, you're not getting me out of here. Take him out. Get 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 Finish the show here. Let's do that. Let's 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 go to the ring and get a match going, and let's get some help for Randy to get him back and try to get some medical help. Randy back in the back. Yeah, and I'm not too happy to see this bunch of jerks out here either. They no. sort of responsible for that whole thing getting underway. J.R. Smooth, get over. Corey, that's that's one of the one of the other problems. Yeah, are these guys? Yeah, we we have been dealing so much with Doug that it just gives these guys uh, the extra opportunity to, to do more damage, and that's what they've been doing. That's exactly right. This whole group that J.R. Smooth has put together of Glenn Coca Ekmo and a couple of other uh, new additions here in California. Coca's got Alan Steele. Ian Aries got him. Slams him down. Man. How about Whoopi D showing up today? Yeah. You just don't know. We say all the time to expect the unexpected. But Whoopi D, no contract again with Power Pro. He just shows up just out of God knows where. And the same kind of stuff that happened there. Exactly. And then there's another perfect example with Doug Gilbert. I mean, yep. Doug wasn't really trying to hurt Randy, but he's up. Is that it? Yep, got it. 
He's out here throwing fire, and he hit Randy right in the face. But we'll take a break. We got more to go on the Power Hour. It's Watson Summer. For free TV5 Power Pro Wrestling tickets, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to TV5 Power Pro Wrestling, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. Is here. Oh, let me tell you something, you punk. Don't kill me. So you went and cried out to your punk friend, Wolfie D. Let me tell you something, Wolfie D. The next time you stick your nose. Hey, here's Doug Gilbert. Yeah, boy, he came in hot and heavy, Dave. He's in a challenge, and here's, Doug took him up. Here's Wolfie. Wolfie D! Now it's two against two. Two on two! Yeah! Kolka thrown out of the ring. Doug Gilbert is after him. Kolka trying to get to the door. He doesn't make it before Doug grabs him. Look at Wolfie! Whoa! Man! Close line! Oh, here comes Ekmo, Dave! Yep. Here comes uh, the rest of BSK. Yep. They grab oh, Wolfie. Wolfie. Pile driver. Pile right driver on Wolfie D. Out in the parking lot. That's Doug Gilbert right back into the studio. He jumps the leg on Wolfie. Here's Doug back in. Gilbert in the ring. And they get out of there. Smooth and Ekmo and that whole crew. But they leave Wolfie D lying in the middle of the ring. And I think he's hurt. As yeah. Doug Gilbert is there checking him. Whoopi's hey, not moving. Next not week, moving. regular time for the Power Hour. Next Saturday night, New Daisy New Theater. Daisy. We uh, hope you'll be joining us next week at 11 o'clock. Until then, for Corey Macklin, I'm Dave Brown. So long, everybody. Uh-huh. What a day.